In today's video, man, I wanna talk to the men and women and drop some game on you and let you know that she will only be loyal to the money, to the bag, you know, let you know that that man is there only for sex. Let's talk about it. to the most high Yah shalom thank you for tuning in to another episode today i'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business man picking up some building material from lowe's decided to drop a gem on you guys drop a couple of nuggets on you guys to help you out you know there's always a man out there talking about how a woman took advantage of him and this woman is always going to reveal herself as being thirsty for money. You know, there's always a woman out there that's uh, a victim of being used by a man for sex and she didn't see it. And I'm going to break this down to you and give you some game because some wisdom because, you know, this stuff has been happening since the beginning of time usury embellishment and you know women out here there are men that have nothing to offer a woman you know and these are the kind of men that they lack leadership you know don't have any ambitions and all they want a woman for is sex you ignorantly you know will lay down with this individual this man and wonder why you're always pulling your hair out, wonder why you feel like the load is all on you and you can't get no help from this man. This man is gonna, you know, uh, constantly give you words of affirmation, you know, to uh, promote or provoke emotional stimuli so you don't cut it off. You know, a lot of these men out here string women along just solely for the purpose of sex. And you as a woman cannot afford to have your body count ran up. You cannot afford to be letting these men hit you raw. And then on the back end, you wonder why your life is in shambles. I'm telling you, some men on their own merit cannot get a woman. Women do not see value in them. Good women do not see value in them. There's a reason why. And these are the kind of men uh, that will lay down with all kind of low frequency, low vibrational uh, women just to get their rocks off, just to get their rocks off, okay? And women, for your sake, you must discern. I'm not talking about your intuition. Intuition is feelings and emotion based. I'm talking about using the wisdom of the Most High Yah discernment to be able to spot this out. What does this guy really want from me? Why is he saying all of this stuff uh, that's gonna happen in the future, but wanting to sleep with me now? See, through these sexual acts, you know, and, and, and you not discerning, is gonna cause you to struggle as a woman, okay? You, a lot of y'all are out there laying with men that don't have no jobs and all of that. A good woman is not finna tolerate that out of a man. This man uh, relies on you for everything because he don't have nothing going for himself. I'm telling young women this so you don't be out here playing the victim card when this happens to you. Same thing men, I often tell men, do not lead with your money. Do not lead with your money. Do not lead with your wallet. Because what you do is you attract vultures. For these men uh, that lead with their money, they getting set up by women. You know, her and some other dude come and set in these men. This is all stuff that's happened. You got to look at and discern as a man. Some of these women are only loyal to the money. Pay attention to how if you give a woman some money, watch how nice she gets for that money. Pay attention. You know, a woman, if given money, you know, will call you 
by whatever you want to be called. They got this thing going around talking about zaddy. And for a man that's dishing out that money, a woman will call you zaddy. That's not submission. That's not a uh, loyalty based upon your character as a man. That's not loyalty based upon, you know, your values, your belief, your worth ethic, your work ethic as a man. She's loyal to the money. This is why in this daytime and hour, men need to stay away from the women that want these lavish first dates. I don't want to go to chain restaurants. First date got to spend $500. These are women that are showing you and articulating that they are loyal to the to the money. When a relationship goes sour and a woman, you know, uh, leaves a man and she's money hungry, she was loyal to the money. Anytime you see these celebrities or these athletes or well-off men, how about you men retire out of whatever they're doing, whether it be entertainment or sports, this is why the women jump ship. They're loyal to the money. They're going where the money is. And here's the thing. A woman will never be able to respect you as her head if she only respects money, if she's only loyal to money. The Most High Yah, you says you cannot serve him and mammon at the same time. You're going to love one and hate the other. So as long as you are uh, that ATM that's got a, a pin code that's constantly dispensing out, she'll be loyal to you. But that, loy but that loyalty can easily be bought off by money. Somebody else can come along and offer more money. She's up and out of there. And a lot of these women are letting it be known. When you see this dating criteria of the modern woman and she's saying, I want him to make half a million dollars and all of this, she's letting you know, for that price right there, I'll be loyal. For that price right there, I will doggone, uh, I'll be what you need me to be. And when your salary tapers off, because at some point it may taper off, that's when that loyalty's up. That's when she's gonna, uh, she's gonna have this, well, you know, I, I don't feel like we, are growing anymore. I feel like we're growing apart. Oftentimes that has to do with money. A woman that's, that's uh, thirsty for money. When you look at these women uh, that you thought loved you as a man and you mess around and have a baby by them and she's sitting up here talking about she want $20,000, $50,000 a month in child support, you're dealing with a thirsty woman that is only loyal to money. Only loyal to money. Don't say nobody didn't tell you if you out there as a woman giving your body away to a worthless man uh, that, that is pretty much embellishing you and usury for sex. There's men out there that do that. And, and, and y'all forbid he put a baby up in you, plant a seed in you, and you walking around crazy, don't know why this happened to you. You gotta think, a lot of these boys, these, high, these boys in high school at a young age, that is the only thing they want a girl for is to get their rocks off. They going through puberty. And, and men out here, your daughters is catching bodies by these young boys because you got to have these real conversations. That boy doesn't love you. A lot of these men don't love you. You know, it, you gotta think, what did a man, what did a man provoke interest? You know, what was his interest in you? Think about some of the stuff that he said when he first met you. Damn girl, you got a big old booty. That's where his interest was. That's where his focus was. Oh, you got some of the nicest breasts I'd have never seen. That's where his interest was. Oh, you look like a freak. Okay, these are men that use women for sex. There's nothing wrong with a man complimenting you. But when that's when a man leads with that, women, that's a sign. And, and all of that stuff will puff you up as a woman and cloud your judgment and you will let these men lay down. You will let a fine, a woman will let a fine, broke man, fine man, broke, jobless, worthless, no work ethic, entitled, you will let this man uh, bust all up in you wrong and wonder why, you know, 10 years down the road, you, 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 you can't get no help with the kids and this man don't wanna help out because he was worthless from the start. Trying to stop a lot of people from, from trying to get a game so a lot of people are not, you know, using that I'm a victim card. Men out here, don't be flashing your money on social media. Don't lead with that. If she's not attracted or can see the light in you to the actual, uh, you know, spiritual 
and physical value, being character, you know, your work ethic, your leadership. If she's not attracted to that, I'm telling you, you don't want her. You don't want her. Close to the Yah Ministries kicking it, gun barrel straight. Bow.